This is the saddest bunch of roses I've ever seen. Hey, Leo. <laughs> what's up today I am doing a rainbow rose video they turned out pretty colors but they don't have any blue or rainbow look to them at all also I just got these maybe four days ago and they're already looking pretty wilty right now you are looking at a picture of some actual roses that I received as a gift I think back in August or something so the end of last summer these are beautiful and actually when I got them I looked and they did dye them the way that I'm dyeing them in this video but probably with a different type of dye or something like that there's a cat on the desk <laughs> long story short I did get the dye to work but I didn't get it to look rainbowy but if you want to know how I did this then stay tuned to the video also coming up in just a couple days I I have a Valentine's Day treats video and it's gonna be awesome I have a ton of different treats in that if you like Pinterest fails give this video a big thumbs up pretty please and subscribe to my channel so you can see new videos every single time I upload them to this channel now let's get on to the video I went to a local flower shop and got two different types of white roses, six of each to make a dozen. Be sure to pick out the freshest looking ones so they are able to absorb dye well. Now I'm going to chop the stem at an angle with this giant knife. Make it around 12 inches in length or so, mine's like 13. And of course, repeat this for all of the stems. You can see some of mine are thick and some are thin. With the thin stemmed roses, you'll want to split the bottom into two sections with a sharp kitchen blade or an X-Acto knife. Thick stemmed roses can be split into three or four sections. Just be careful not to tear anything off. Now comes the dye. I'm using fabric dye, but you could also try food coloring instead. After preparing the dye, pour each color into a different cup and stick the splitty stems in. If they're too short and don't reach like mine, then you can always cut them a little bit more. It took me a while to get them to stay. I had to prop them up against a vase and also use a pipe cleaner to hold them together. I didn't show me doing the first ones, but basically each section of the split stem gets placed in a different color, like so. Here's what my roses looked like after two hours. A little bit of pink and yellow starting to happen in the petals. Then I went to sleep very hopeful, dreaming rainbow dreams, yet I woke up to disappointment. Where is the friggin' blue? This was 12 hours, by the way. Oh, and it dyes the leaves, I forgot to mention. Finally, here we are at the near 24 hour mark. There's some lime green, vivid pink, and bright yellow. Still no blue at all, but a few of the roses did pick up two colors, so this wasn't a total fail, just not what I was expecting. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and liked watching my misery when the blue did not show up in these roses at all. I used the same type of dye for all the colors and it just did not turn out. So maybe I'll try this again sometime and maybe try food coloring or soap coloring. That might kill the roses right away. Um, if there's any tips, suggestions that you have for me, if this has been a better experience for you, then leave all those comments down below. I just want to know how the flower shop does it because they definitely Definitely. Ow, there's still many thorns on here. 
the ones that I got from the flower shop definitely had the stems cut like this and I saw three colors. They did red, blue, and yellow and then they turned out rainbow like the picture I showed you at the beginning of right here. So I don't know how the heck they did that. It is a mystery or just really good dye and maybe roses like right from the ground they're like you're so fresh you're gonna absorb all the pretty colors maybe that's the problem I went to a nice flower shop I thought all right enough blabbing if you enjoyed the video like I said at the beginning please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it's just cool. It's, it's cool. All my social media linkies are below as well. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Remember to stay tuned for my Valentine's Day treats video. I have a ton of stuff like a heart-shaped cake. Look at that. I have an itch. <laughs> I'm so sad. The rainbow is alive. Yeah. I was able to get two colors to work at. Whoa. You're messing up my video, buddy. Go down. Don't eat it. That's right. Ugh. This is a really big face, but I couldn't find a smaller one. Now they're going back on top of the bookcase so Leo cannot eat them. Oh, what are we doing? Give me more. And more.